it is an important problem of friction and in the problem both the belt friction and the wedge friction are combined together if i'll see the numerical problem it is given that what would be the minimum value of this weight so that we can hold the 5000 newton block in its position so here you can see that there is a wedge waging action between block A and block B. Block A is of weight 5000 Newton, block B is of weight 100 Newton. So here also you can see that if I explained in my previous video where I have explained the wedge friction, the wedge weight of the wedge are normally very less as compared to the wedge of the other block. In most of the cases we ignore but in the question it is given so we are going to consider it in our solution. Here it is shown that there is a pulley and the pulley is also having a coefficient of friction. So here it is given that the coefficient of friction is 0 0.25. And here in at all the surfaces between the wall and the block A, block A and block B or wedge B and the wedge and the ground, the coefficient of friction is 0 0.3. So uh, I would suggest that if you have not understood the concept of wedge as well as the pulley friction, this problem may be difficult to solve directly so I request that you first go through the waging action as well as the pulley friction maybe from any textbook or maybe you can follow any video or my video but to solve this problem you should be first clear that how the wages are a, a waging action is there with the friction and how there is a pulley friction because in the case of pulley the tension at the two side of the pulley will not be same suppose the tension here is t2 and t1 so these two tension will not be same but the question is arises whether t1 is greater than t2 or t2 is greater than t1 this part i have explained in my uh, concept of pulley friction video but here also we will give a small idea about that so let's start solving the problem and the problem there are three things which we have to keep in mind one is the pulley where we are having two friction t1 and t2 and here my question is as whether t1 is greater than t2 or t2 is greater than t1 we will see it in the second case there is a wedge and there is a block now as in the question it is given that we want to hold 500 newton block that means we how we can define the direction of friction on this surface this surface this surface everywhere so uh, I always uh, I always say that if you want to find the direction of the friction you have to imagine that what will happen if the equilibrium will fail. In this question it is given that we want to hold this block that means if the equilibrium will fail we will not be able to hold the block that means this block will fall and the wedge will go towards right side. If I am able to identify the direction of the motion the problem will half solved now i have to just put the friction friction direction so in my case this is the direction of the motion if the equilibrium will not be in place means that if the equilibrium will break the 5000 newton weight will come comes down and as it will comes down the 100 newton block will move in this direction and when it will move this direction basically what will happen this side will become the driver side and this side will become the driven side and as the driver side always has a larger tension that means the case will be here is the t1 is greater than t2 now in this case when the wedge is moving in this direction that means the force friction force at the lower surface of the wedge will be towards left this would be the normal reaction similarly the block is coming down that means the friction because of this wall on the block will be block is coming down then the friction will be upward side so this would be the direction of friction on the block and this would be the normal reaction now the important part is what would be the direction of friction at this surface so as i always explain once you are able to find the direction of the friction on the lower surface of the wedge the top surface also follow the same direction that means the friction at this point will be in this way this is the shortcut rate otherwise what you can think you can think that oh uh, that means the wedge is coming in this direction that means these two surface will try to hold the wedge that means here also the wedge will experience a resistance and the resistance means the direction of the friction force will be opposite to the direction of the motion so this would be the direction of friction and this would be the normal reaction 
as this force is just equal and opposite here so this would be the normal reaction and this force will be the opposite to this so now i have identified all the friction force direction as well as the normal reaction direction and when if you are able to understand this part the next part is simple and you have to simply write the force balance equation here i am showing the diagram for the forces you can see here that this is the tension because if i will see the problem there is a tension force acting on this surface of the wave so here i am explaining that this is the tension force this is the normal reaction and i know that this would be the direction of friction here so let this is f2 which will be mu uh, mu n2 and here is the direction of friction which will let's n f1 so which will be mu n1 similarly for this block the block is coming down that means this would be the direction of the friction and this would be f3 will be mu n3 and this is the just equal and opposite to this because this is n2 and n2 here the wedge experiencing a force toward this side so the wedge will apply an equal and opposite force on the block which would be opposite side so this would be my f2 so mu n2 now these are the two uh equilibrium diagram and i can write the equation for the equilibrium for both the block here we, you can see that these are my equations for the block first i am writing the i am solving the first this part because t is unknown to me so when i will write the equation for the horizontal force balance and the vertical force balance this is my equation this is equation for the vertical force balance and this is for the horizontal force balance when i will solve the first equation i will get a relation between n n2 and n3 when i will put this value in the third second equation i will get a relation between i will get the value of n2 and n3 so i am getting a value of n2 which is coming out 4715.5 newton you can solve these two equation and get this value now i will see this equation for this block so when i will write the vertical force balance my n1 is acting in the upward side all the other forces having a downward component so these are the component as well as the 100 newton weight of the wedge similarly when i am writing the horizontal force balance this is my equation for the horizontal force balance now i will put this n2 value in this equation so i will get the n1 and my n1 is coming out 5014.95 newton when i will put this n1 value and n2 value together in this equation i am getting that the tension is coming out 1221 newton now i have calculated the tension so i will go back and i'll see my problem that the in the problem uh, if i will able to get this tension value i will be able to get the tension at the other side which will be directly equal to the weight given here so now i have calculated the t1 value here which is coming out 1221 newton if i will see the equilibrium of my pulley i have already understood that the body the block is going in the upward direction why because when the equilibrium will break this block will come down the wedge will go towards right that means the block will pull pull in the upward side so that this would become the driver side and this would become the driven side so that the t1 is greater than t2 now here i am showing that as the t1 is greater than t2 and if i will apply my formula i know that this ratio is always greater than 1 that means the ratio is the t high by t low and this would be t1 by t2 is equal to e to the power mu and beta beta is the angle of wrap in this case the wrap the contact start at this point end at this point that means the total contact angle is of 90 degree so the beta will be right as the 90 degree but not in the degree it will be right in the radians please understand and remember always that beta will be in radians not in degree so beta will always be in radians here i am putting the value of beta which will be pi by 2 my mu is 0.2 the larger value of tension is 1221 when i will solve this equation i am getting that t2 is coming out 891.8 newton that means the weight here will be equal to 891.8 newton or i can write that the mass of this block will be basically 89.18 kg okay thank you